archaeologists have discovered Denisovans, the ancient human ancestor, lived on the oxygen-starved Tibetan plateau 11,000 feet above sea level 160,000 years ago. Genes from the species are found in some modern-day people, such as the Sherpas, and allows them to thrive at high altitudes. It was previously unknown how some natives of Tibet thrive at such altitudes, where oxygen levels can be up to 40% less than at sea level. Half a mandible, the jawbone, was found and archaeologists say it proves the now extinct race predated humans at the high altitude region by around 100,000 years. The bone was first unearthed in a cave in China in 1980, and was in the hands of a monk before being analyzed by scientists. It is believed to be the oldest hominin fossil ever found in the high-altitude Himalayan region. Denisovans are believed to have interbred with primitive Homo sapiens, and their genes are why some groups of human are so adept at living at high altitudes. Traces of Denisovan DNA have been detected throughout Asia, spanning as far as Australia and in present-day Australia and Melanesia. This suggests they may once have been widespread, but evidence to prove this has never before been found. It is the first ever evidence of the ancient hominins living outside the small Siberian cave, which earned them their name. Both Denisovans and their sister human subspecies, the Neanderthals, are known to have interbred with the ancestors of people living today. Most intriguingly, modern Sherpas and Tibetans appear to have inherited Denisovan genetic variants that help them cope with high altitudes. Modern-day humans are not thought to have arrived on the Tibetan plateau until around 40,000 years ago, but the two species then interbred. Baishia Karst Cave, where the jawbone was discovered, is at an altitude of 10,760 feet. Scientists were unable to find any DNA preserved in the fossil, but managed to extract proteins from one of the molars. Analysis showed that it was clearly Denisovan. Dr. Dong Zhizhang, from Lanzhou University in China's Gansu province, who co-led the research, said, Archaic hominins occupied the Tibetan plateau in the Middle Pleistocene, and successfully adapted to high-altitude, low-oxygen environments long before the regional arrival of modern Homo sapiens. The well-preserved jawbone is robust with very large molars, features shared by Denisovans and Neanderthals, according to the study reported in Nature. A heavy carbonate crust covering the fossil allowed scientists to date it to at least 160,000 years old. The oldest specimens from Denisova Cave in Siberia are from a similar time period. However, the Siberian site is only 700 meters above sea level. Sherpas have lived in the Himalayas for at least 6,000 years. Studies have shown that they have developed a physiology similar to that of a fuel-efficient car. Their muscles get more mileage out of less oxygen than those of the average person. Sherpas have mitochondria, tiny rod-like power plants and cells, that are extra efficient at using oxygen. While their red blood cell count is increased in thin mountain air, it remains below the point at which the blood thickens and strains the heart, causing altitude sickness. The Denisovan jawbone was originally discovered in 1980 by a local monk. He donated it to the 6th Gungthang Living Buddha, a Buddhist Lama, or teacher, who passed it to Lanzhou University.